I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello and welcome back to How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. Uh, this is a picture of Bamarag Beach with a castle on it. I've stretched the paper, it's a £140 cotton rag paper and it's rough. And I'm just leaving a very thin film of water on the sky and then I just want to dry off where the castle is and where the sky meets the sea and the land so I'm just using some ordinary kitchen towel for this this is Cenarius Blue and French Ultramarine I just want to put a little pocket in here We're going to build this up very slowly and then we want some Naples yellow in I think here then into that this is Naples yellow plus raw sienna with just a touch of cadmium orange I want to put this in here leaving room for the clouds just about here I'll just take out a bright spot a little bit bigger than I need it because it will backfill in again this is permanent mauve Prussian blue and burnt umber but it's on the mauve side and we're going to add this in and I'm stopping it short of the blue really because it will spread and we will be adding more colour to this some up here reasonably dark this is the same colour the only mixed on the blue side which is the permanent mauve Prussian blue and burnt umber and you'll see the difference as it goes in it's a much darker colour down towards the castle but I don't want it to touch the castle because I want the castle to stand out and I'm just moving to a smaller round brush and I just want to jiggle some in that might be the word I think jiggle this is the Prussian blue mauve and burnt umber just mixed to the purple side this is cobalt blue and burnt sienna I'll just bring it round so you can see it I think and I'm using a very small brush for this because I want reasonable control not too much paint on the brush remembering that this will dry lighter for you streaking it into the sky some cloud here this is the uh, Prussian blue and mauve and burnt umber mixed on the purple side or the mauve side and I'm just as the paper's starting to dry I just want to feed just a little bit more in this is a very big thundery looking cloud and then we're going to leave this to dry welcome back once your sky is dry this is a, a mixture of that soft grey again that went in the sky here and with a dry brush because the paper is just going to take most of the paint off and from the edge I'm going to pull this in towards the beach to create a hit and miss effect 
and we're also going to do the same on this little inlet here all horizontal strokes and because this one is just a little closer I'm going to take some of the Prussian blue I'm going to take some of the permanent mauve plus Prussian blue and burnt umber on the blue side because this is just a little bit darker and do the same just very very quickly add the same thing in just over the top and whilst I'm here I'm just going to take my rigger brush with some of this Naples yellow and I want to pull some grasses into here some of the orange bits as well and you'll see why in a bit we're going to paint round these and just a little bit of dark on the bottom here which is French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber this is permanent mauve Prussian blue and Burnt Umber but left on the, the mauve side and I'm just going to <coughs> let this down a little bit with some water as we come down to the the sand or the beach pulling it towards the sea here as well on this side but we'll just create a hard edge where the water is going up the beach and meeting the sea once again <clears throat> back into the Naples yellow I want to bring some of this into the beach as well all dry brush slowly building your tones up Naples yellow raw sienna with a touch of cadmium orange I'm going to bring that in as well it's basically all your, your sky colours that's reflecting off the wet sand adding some extra strength of colour down here with the Naples yellow I want to bring some light patches into here this is a double zero round put in an indication that there is some light here and it will show when I put the dark in back to the Naples yellow cadmium orange with raw sienna add some of this in as well it just all helps to create a little bit of movement rather than just plain flat washes permanent more Prussian blue and burnt sienna but mixed to a very very weak state and just paint your castle in softening off all the edges pulling the paint all the down with a damp brush French Ultramarine burnt sienna I'm going to add this in to the uh, the rock or the land that's underneath this castle darker as we come into the shadow side here allow some of it to bleed up into your castle just push it up gently using the tip of the brush so you can't tell where the building starts where the castle starts and the land ends just let your eye mix it softening off at the bottom with a damp brush then whilst it's damp we can add some soft edges in just to highlight where the ground is uneven I don't want very little interest in this corner so we're just going to soften all this down okay then we're going to let this dry off a little bit and we've dried off somewhat and the Naples yellow has spread slightly so I'm just going to come back and reinforce it with some very strong Naples yellow straight out of the paint box really and just put back in some of the light this is the Cenarius blue 
with ultramarine plus burnt sienna which makes quite a dull muted green which is also what I'm looking for and I'm, I'm putting it on rather pale here at the moment we'll strengthen it up as we come further forward just put it in here with a little more strength no detail really just let your eye will just mix this for you and I'm just using the the brush upright sort of stronger as we come forward now you can see why I've put the Naples yellow on first so I can come into this tap around one or two grasses to help them stand out and I've just darkened it with the uh, sky colour or the cloud colour either one will do so I'm just going to bring it onto the beach Russian blue burnt umber and permanent mauve I just need to put a bank in along here sharpen up where the water line is damp brush once again soften off the back edge all horizontal strokes so I'm just going to try and it's the same colour as the bank I want to give a hit and miss effect if it comes down here maybe a touch more bringing some round to this side along the edge to depict this once again just to show you that there's water there soften off once again this back edge here or this forward edge moving horizontally just going to strengthen some of this green up that we made and I just need to add some shadow in as well so with your cloud colour Prussian blue, permanent mauve and burnt umber we'll just check its strength because I don't want it too strong ok, pull that down there maybe there's a little shadow here Soften off those edges once again. Just taking some of your cloud colour once again. Prussian blue, burnt umber, and mauve. I'll put a couple of dry brush strokes just to indicate that this might be some pebbles across the beach it also helps to push this beach a little bit further back add in recession I don't want to put too much on it if you're enjoying this video please uh, click the like button and if you've not subscribed please subscribe everybody's welcome and I do encourage people to leave a comment in the comment section and if you have any questions please feel free to ask Okay, this is the Naples yellow once again, quite a strong mix. Rigger brush with the Naples yellow. And I'm just going to put some grasses in here. Some of the orangey colour. And we will be putting some dark around this just to make it stand out. But right this moment in time, we just want to get some of these grasses in before we do that. as we add the dark to it have a nice mixture of colours here just singling out one or two grasses to uh, stand out Tulsa Marine and Burnt Umber again on the dark let's get one or two brown pieces in 
also some of the green, let's not forget. <clears throat> nice and strong in this corner. Now we come to the best bit, <clears throat> this is where you get to sign it, put a mat around it and frame it. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, watercolour, if you have, like I've said, please click the like button and subscribe for further painting videos in the future. Uh, please leave a comment, you are always welcome, and thank you very much for watching.